rebound by Noah. He's got now seven rebounds. Lot of it was 417 in game six, and a lot of it because he shot a lot of jump shots. He's got to start attacking again. Doc Rivers said he thought he played game six like he played last year, passively on the perimeter. Salmons was held as he was crossing the lane. Scalabrini was there and some other Celtics, and that is a Scalabrini foul. That is number two. So we'll take a break. Just under 51 seconds remaining in a tight first quarter from the Garden in Boston on TNT. The biggest key to me, and this is the biggest key, is you can't play hero basketball. Um, I, th I think every team, uh, young teams, old teams, they try to do too much. They, they come in and they're fired up and they have all this emotion and then they're, they're playing outside their limitations. And even though it's for the right cause, uh, it's the wrong player and uh, the key for us is everybody to be aggressive within their limitations and trust each other and then we're a good basketball team. I am assuming you agree. I agree with that totally. I think the toughest thing for Doc Rivers now is that with Garnett out they, they have become a more offensive minded team. This is a team that hung their hat on defense. They were one of the best in the league. The opponents field goal percentage point differential in all the defensive categories rebounding everything. Now it's very difficult for them to stop this Chicago Bulls team and it's almost now they have to try to beat them pushing the ball up the floor and paying, playing at a pace that they have not played with all season long. They're averaging 92 shots a game in this series and a lot of it's in overtime 77 in the regular season so taking a lot more shots. Marbury is in for Rondo. Pierce outside and uncovered Scalabrini. Calabrini has come off the bench in seven minutes. He's got five points. Heinrich, and he's in for Rose. Oh, stepped out of bounds across the way, John Salmons did. Now, Scalabrini came in the other night in the first half at seven points. Really was the only guy off the bench that gave them anything at all. The rest of the bench had a total of four. The bench in the game the other day for Boston put this in perspective. It shot two for 18. The Chicago Bulls bench with uh, Heinrich, Brad Miller, Lindsey Hunter having one point. They had 35, 34 points off the bench. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I talked about the keys. All of a sudden, you're seeing Scalabrini get some good minutes. Stephon Marbury's in the ball game with Rondo, giving Ray Allen, little, or excuse me, Ray Allen now is out there with Paul Pierce. So the Celtics have gone to a small lineup here with all shooters on the floor on the last possession. Eddie House also on the floor. House for Perkins, Rondo for Scalabrini. Lindsey Hunter has come in for Miller. The drive by Rondo, the rejection by Thomas, the pickup by Heinrich. He had it taken away by House. Knocked away by Thomas. A three by Heinrich over Marbury at the buzzer, and that takes us to the end of the first. Quarter with Gordon, Salmons, Miller, Tyrus Thomas on the floor, and Kirk Heinrich with it right now. That's the Chicago Five. Now the game plan has always been when Eddie House comes in the game, Kirk Heinrich is going to try to look to attack him. It's Salmons dancing with Allen. Bumping into Davis. Out of bounds, shot clock is at 12. House, Scalabrini, Davis, Marbury in the game along with Ray Allen for Boston. Well, Stefan Marbury in the game the other night, Doc Allen, with, uh, Doc uh, Rivers went with Tony Allen, so keep that eye on that matchup now with Marbury on Ben Gordon. Heinrich to Miller. Miller is screen. Scalabrini and Allen both pick up Salmons. Shot clock at five. Miller the screen. Salmons with the fake Allen bites. Here comes Scalabrini on Salmons. That's out of bounds. That is off of Boston. And Chicago gets a fresh shot clock with which to work. See, now Kendrick Perkins is out of the game. They lose their best rebounder. Big Baby with two fouls comes back in the game. So it's a very small lineup for the Celtics. They've got to get back, and all five guys must rebound the ball. Gordon's got it. He's got 12 over Marbury. A three. A guarded three. Gordon knocks it in. And he's got 15. And I think Ben Gordon feels like he can get his shot any time against Stephon Marbury. Equaling the biggest lead, the Chicago Bulls. Allen over Heinrich to three. Rebound by Tyrus Thomas. He collects his second rebound. Now Heinrich did a pretty good job on uh, Ray Allen in the second half. The other night. Here's Ben Gordon, who is absolutely oh, feeling it right now. Opening up Marbury's defense, too, Doug. Just to follow that story up, I was talking about Andrew Tony in 82 in game seven when uh, Philadelphia came in one. He had 34 points in that game. Gordon already halfway there with 17 here tonight. 17 of Chicago's 32. 
There's no paint points here right now for the Boston Celtics. Everything long jump shots. Scalabrini and a late convergence by Miller. Scalabrini has come off the bench. In eight minutes, Doggy's got eight points and a couple of threes. And he had a big game for you. When he played for New Jersey in Detroit, game six of the conference finals, he had five threes in that game, 17 points. So he's been on this stage before and had a big game. Miller the screen, Scalabrini will watch Salmons. He crashes into Davis. That is an offensive foul. It's on John Salmons coming off a 35-point game six. He picks up his second for Chicago. And he will leave, and in comes Derrick Rose. For being a rookie head coach in a game seven. How about this, huh, for Vinny Del Negro? This is a fun part of coaching, though, because for Vinny, I was kidding with him. I said, if you knew what you knew right now taking the job, you would have never gone to your first practice. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been scared to death. Marbury, a Davis screen late, closed by Rose. Another rebound by Tyrus Thomas, his third. Rose is four of six. Marbury's on him. Steph has taken one shot and missed it. Rose snaps it out. A three by Heinrich over House. Make it a two. And a miss right there by Kirk Heinrich. That is his second miss in two tries. And Davis has it. And back to House. Heinrich chasing. Davis by Miller. I think Miller got kind of confused as to the rotation defensively for Chicago. Well, they're so concerned with Eddie House coming off those screens that they've already had Scalabrini come in and hit a couple shots. The Bulls do not want to let Eddie House get going. He is a very streaky shooter. Gordon, late close by Allen, a three. And the rebound is corralled by House. Gordon is 5 of 8. House chased by Heinrich. Scalabrini and House, the mismatch on Thomas. House will exploit with the drive. Miller is on Davis. Knocked away by Thomas with another block shot. Heinrich the other way. Slides by Scalabrini. Held on the drive and a foul called. And Scalabrini will pick up the Boston foul. That is number three for Scal off the bench. Well, Tyrus Thomas has done a nice job here tonight. Blocking shots off the wall. You can see Brad Miller said, no, I know I made a mistake. I cannot leave Scalabrini. So three fouls here early. And then the weak side help again. That should be Derek Rose sliding over there and helping out. Brad Miller was helping up on the screen. The shot blocked by Thomas leads to a run out by the Chicago Bulls. And Heinrich will be shooting two free throws. Ben Gordon's got 17, Chicago by four. Two of these three great individual performances, Doug, for the Chicago Bulls have come on the road. Well, game one, it was uh, Derrick Rose, 36 points, 11 assists. He had 12 of 12 from the foul line. Big, big plays coming down the stretch. Ben Gordon was brilliant. 42 here in game two. Looked like they were going to win that game until Ray Allen took over in the second half and hit the big three. And Tonight, Ben Gordon's on one of those shooters' roll. He hit his first three, got to the line, made a couple free throws. He's five of eight from the floor, five of five from the line, 17 points, mixing his game up nicely. So he's not only shooting uh, the three, but he's also getting in the lane, getting some shots, and getting fouled. More importantly, when you look at a, a score, you know I always talk about this, Kevin, but Ben Gordon tonight has 17 points on eight shots. So that's two point, over two points every time he shoots the ball. That bodes very well for Chicago, that kind of ratio. How about Chicago at the free throw line, Doug? 11 of 11. Uh, too many three attempts. Not enough in the paint work right now for Boston. They've only attempted three. House guarded by Gordon. Noah watches Perkins, who just checked in for Scalabrini. Noah knocks it away. Noah has come in for Miller. That's a second turnover for the Boston Celtics. And Rose the other way, four of six. Marbury chasing. Rose over Stefan. Rebound by Kendrick Perkins, number six with his four points. Ray Allen is two of five. Slashing from the wing right by Noah and comes up with two. And Ray Allen has a busted high nine. Rose racing. And it ends up with Gordon Allen on him. Noah a screen. Allen fights through it, gets it off to Thomas over Davis. Wow. We've seen that all series long, those long 17-foot you know, jump shots. Yeah, I mean, in game one, he had three of those in the overtime, and Vinny Del Negro said that, you know, people said, well, why is he shooting that? He said, well, because he, we think he can make that he shot now. He's worked very hard, and you can see that. He's a pretty good mid-range shooter now. Thomas with two. Allen to Perkins, and Perkins into Thomas. So Perkins has got six and six, six rebounds and six.